Nearly okay. half of UK adults think Islam is incompatible with British values. Okay, a lot of people are thinking, yay, this is good news. Half of UK adults think Islam is incompatible with British values. This means like British people are, are understand that Islam is bad. But m when I read this, I was like, wait a minute, half of UK thinks that Islam is A-OK. -okay. And it's compat so the other half actually thinks that Islam is compatible with British values. Actually, this scares the shit out of me. Like, half of the British people think that Islam, Islam, and British values go hand in hand. Like, what the hell? Like, what? Okay, let me actually read the story before making judgment on it. So, this, the summary says a, su a survey suggests that almost. Okay, so there's two things that they measured. So, the first part is. Uh, that the, okay, the study suggests that th a third of UK adults think that Islam encourages Muslims to carry out acts of violence against non-Muslims. All right, so that means two thirds of UK adults have no idea about Islam because it does encourage Muslims to carry out acts of violence. I mean, you read the fucking Quran; I couldn't be any more clear. Um, and okay, and it continues. So this is about. This is the first part that I said one third is not about compatibility. It was about whether Islam encourages Muslims to carry out acts of violence. The second part is it also found nearly half, so 48%, think the religion is incompatible with British values. So what it is if I don't know if the other 52 is think is compatible or maybe there's some undecided or no answer there as well. So the poll, which uh, questioned 2,077 people, that's a pretty big number because, you know, for, for, for a poll to be statistically significant, as long as it was randomly selected, by the way. Like, the, it's not just a number that makes a poll a good poll. It's also the method that you collect the data to make sure that you're controlling for uh, other external factors. So, but anyway, what's this? Who, who did this study? Do you know? Okay. Um. It says that uh, the poll which questioned 2077 people of no, different no, no. ages. I, I, I'm already and, reading that. I'm already reading that. Yeah. My, okay, you, never mind. Let me just continue. People of the different ages, genders, and regions showed... Okay, so yeah, they're, they're pretty... I think they made sure it's pretty randomized across uh, Britain. Um, so, okay, so... Th okay, wow. Well, so look, look at the summary how it's saying. The poll... Uh, okay, so this Muslim guy from the Ahmadiyya community, it's so funny to me that they always bring Ahmadiyyas to speak on behalf of Islam, because <laughs> Ahmadiyyas are like such a minority part of Islam, and they're the most peaceful one, and they like, they always know that there's the safest people, like the, the, the people that ask for commentary, they're like, let's not ask the average Muslim, because they're going to sell us something crazy, and it's not going to make us look good. They always go to ask Ahmadiyyas, to, and the, you know, the people that don't know Islam, they think like, oh, this Muslim is saying so much peaceful stuff, and they don't know that the Ahmad, most, they all, here, here's how bad it is. You know how Shias and Sunnis can't get along on most things? One thing that they could get along with is that Ahmadiyyas are not Muslim, okay? So, uh, and it's funny that the, w the one group of Muslims that most Muslims agree that these people are not Muslims are the go-to Muslims for Westerners for commentary on Islam. Anyway, so this, the Ahmadiyya Muslim communities are saying that this, this poll that shows that most, that, uh, th that Islam is misunderstood in the UK. I agree with him, but for the exact, for the other, for the opposite reason of what these Muslims are saying, because these Muslims are saying this shows that Islam is misunderstood, because half of Muslims think that Islam is incompatible with the UK values. I say, no, this shows that Islam is, um, is in, in, uh, Islam is misunderstood, because half of them think it is compatible. By the way, what do, they, what do these Muslims think? The Muslims are saying like, Oh, this is so sad that British people think that Islam is incompatible with UK values. Wait, so this shows to me how these so-called moderate Muslims, how non-Islamic they are. Because their measurement for how good their religion is, is UK values. So what are they saying? Like They're like, look, God is so good. United Kingdom values 
is a, is compatible with that. Like I, when other Muslims listen to that, they like when serious Muslim like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You should be like, my g- values come from fucking God. I don't give a shit about UK values. You think I measure whether Islam is good or not based on UK values, based on man-made laws? The fact that these Ahmadiyya people are like saying, look, no, our religion is good. It's incompatible with UK laws makes other serious Muslims cringe. They're like, are you serious? Is that your measurement on our religion? They should, you know, we, they, they should wish that their ideas were as good as us. Like, our ideas come from God. Like, why would we even want them to want to think that Islam is compatible with UK values, right? Um, okay, but then they continues is that two-thirds, 67% of, of the public agreed that most Brits have negative views of Islam, uh, while 58% believe that Islamophobia is widespread in the UK. So it's interesting because it's 50-50, but then when you ask them, how, um, if you ask people whether they think that other Brits uh, have a negative view, the, the answer was 67% think like, yeah, I think other Brits have... Uh, of a negative view of Islam, but this I can't. Okay, I can't take this study seriously if it is asking people about Islamophobia. Anybody that uses the word Islamophobia, um, with, unless they're actually telling you how shitty of a word and how useless of a word it is, if they're using it, I can't take them seriously anymore. Honestly, you just, you, I mean, just say anti-Muslim bigotry. Come on, guys, Islamophobia. Like you can't you really you're putting an ideology and you're saying that people are bigots. It just I just said if you're against an idea, you're a bigot. That's what that phrase means. It's such a nonsense term. Um, are you surprised by these numbers, Sapam, or what do you think? I'm like I, I take Britain to be a really sensible country. Usually, I mean, uh, it's it's surprising that half of them actually say Islam is compatible with. British values because just uh, just exactly what you said is surprising that half of them agree that Islam is compatible. Right, right, right. Wait, there's something uh, happened with my Facebook live stream. Let me see if are we still on with the uh, YouTube? Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. All right, let me read the top comment. Uh, Simon is saying, I feel as though all religion is a barrier to uh, to a truly productive and harmonious society i really think people should stop saying i think all religions every time we talk about islam because you don't do that with christianity okay when we say oh christianity is such a barbaric religion people don't come and say like yeah but all religions you know i I agree all religions are shit but why is it that when we talk about islam everybody comes and talks about all religions instead of like I don't understand. I just when think they, like they want to dilute the focus from Islam. Right? Yeah, they don't want. They don't want to be bigots. You're right. Which is such a r- stupid thing. It, the example. I mean, I use I use this example often. I say like it's kind of like when you're talking about AIDS and try and somebody comes in and like, hey, but what about cancer? Yeah, well, we, yeah, cancer is also bad. But we're talking about oh, AIDS right now. Yeah. I, I usually say like. I mean, it's like saying if a patient got hit by a car, you're coming and saying at least it was not a truck. Right. Um, okay, let me see. Gordon is saying all religion, okay, wait, is incompatible with modern values. We need more science and less superstition. I agree with you, Gordon, but can we stop doing that every time? Sometimes we want to just talk about Islam, okay? Sometimes we want to talk about Christianity. Sometimes we want to talk about Hinduism, okay? These people, like, guys, uh, it's it's really annoying that if because when you say all religion then i could also say like well why are you just focusing on religion why not just say all dogma and you're like okay all dogma like oh why are you just talking about all dogma let's talk about all bad ideas you're like oh, okay fine all bad ideas you're like oh no why just all ba- why just bad ideas why not just bad everything okay bad everything bad is bad is that is that general enough like yeah. sometimes we need to focus on okay so, Another godless atheist is saying because they're afraid of being labeled Islamophobic, which is a bullshit term. Exactly, that's what we said as well. E- Eden is saying religion is incompatible with, the, again, all the top comments is just trying to take the focus away from Islam. 
and focus on religion in general. We don't get that when we're focusing on Christianity. When we're, fo when we're shitting on Christianity, which we often do, we don't see people coming in and saying, well, all religions. It's just when we're talking about Islam, people do that. Okay. Um, religion is incompatible with the 21st century. Time we grew out of it. I agree with that. There's not much difference between any of the myths. No, I don't agree with that. The three major ones are based on. Okay, people think that just because all religions are wrong, that means there's no difference between them. There's a shit ton of difference between them. Okay? There's a shit ton. There are similarities between the religions, but there's also a lot of difference between these religions. They're... they're, they're oh. Why do you... Ha I don't understand why... To be able to call it call religion all religions bullshit that doesn't mean that you have to say they're all the same thing you don't have to say they're all the same thing this is in fact islam is the worst islam for among living religions at least islam right now is the worst one okay i say this this is what this is what i um, tweeted a few months ago all religions are equally wrong but all religions are not equally harmful okay i mean people say well why you say they're equally wrong because e wrong true or false is a binary thing you're either true or you're not true right and all of them are not true so they're all equally not true but when it comes to how much harm they could cause they're not at all the same they're not at all the same um and islam in my opinion takes the cake on that one what do you think Sopam? yeah i agree i mean yeah every religion is fake I mean, we, we focus on all religions, okay, but we focus on them, all of them, one at a time. Okay? Yeah. So, and now they're, they're coming like all religion, all religion, all religion. I mean, it's exactly like, I mean, okay, we know all religion, but there are some stuff, there are some religions which are more harmful than the others. And Islam mm -hmm. takes the cake in this right. matter. So, I mean, it's okay to talk about all religions as a, as a whole as yeah, well. Yeah, but, we, we but do talk about all religions, but I mean, we do that one at a time, right? No, no, even... Yeah. even okay, so now one... Yeah, yeah, but it's okay not to do it one at a time, even if, even if you want to talk about the concept of religion as a whole. I just don't like it when it's done as a response to when you... Oh, yeah. So it's good to sometimes focus and sometimes to talk about it generally as well. But if you, do, if you, if you want to generalize every time we also focus, I just think that you're, you have a different agenda here, right? It's fine to talk about it generally as well as, in, as about religion, but not if you're trying to shift the attention away from Islam. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.